Hello, welcome back to the woods. And welcome back to another simple stick project. And this simple stick project is an absolute cracker. It's a simple hand line, but I've added a little twist to it and I have to wait till the end to see that. So as far as tools for this project, you don't, you don't need a lot. You're gonna need your knife. You're gonna need a pruning saw for harvesting the wood. You're also going to need a pencil and an auger. And I just went for a cheap one. My brother bought me a set. I think they were Draper ones a few years back. Not the expensive Scotch-Eye ones. This is one with just a handle that drops on over the top. Simple, they don't cost very much and highly effective for this particular project. Materials, well, you're not gonna need a lot. You're gonna need two sticks. One of those is gonna be about two fingers thick by a hand span wide. The other, a similar size, but slightly narrower. You're also gonna need a length of old tire inner tube off your bicycle. And then for later on in the project, to finish it off, you're gonna need some assorted fishing items, but I'll go through those once we've got the actual stick bit finished. So for our first job, what I want to do with my stick is into each end, I want to use my auger and drill a compartment. I've picked a stick, it's an old piece of sycamore, it's seasoned and it's been hanging around for I think about 18 months, so it's not likely to shrink. Also with sycamore, it's got these little brackets where the branches would come out on either side. And at this end, I want to take my compartment, a hollow section, down to just short of there. And then at the other end, this end, I want to do exactly the same. So I've got quite a large compartment in this end and a slightly smaller one in this end. So with those four lines drawn, what you're then gonna do is use your knife and you're gonna put a stop cut all the way around where those pencil lines are. So with those stop cuts in place, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna remove the area of bark and some of the wood from between those lines. You're gonna, at first, work up to the stop cut with very shallow little cuts, cutting very carefully. And then you're gonna remove the bark between those two lines, and you're then eventually gonna remove the wood so that the actual stick between those two areas gets that little bit thinner.
So that's most of the wood all removed off. Got the top section slightly shorter and then this other section here. At the top here I want to just angle this little edge with the tip of my knife just so that when I load line onto it and I'm flicking the line off it runs off smoothly and it doesn't get caught on this lip. So there she is, done, almost. The next thing I've got to do is continue the bore hole down through. And I'm probably going to go a slightly smaller size because the walls will be quite thin. What I'm also going to do is make a stopper for each end as well. But for the bulk of it, that's all done. With those two bits complete, the stopper's in the end and the hole's drilled out. All it'll leave me to do is to get the, the various bits of line and those little extra bits on there and it'll be good to go. And there's the rain. So that's the stick part done. All I need to do now is load it up with my fishing supplies. And what I've got is 100 meters of eight pound line. I've got 50 meters of braided nylon line. Uh, I've got a little long line fishing kit, a lead uh, fishing weight, and I've got some jelly lures complete with little hook and eye weight attachments to go on there too. And there it is done. <clears throat> Put my stoppers in either end. And this end, well, this is my active fishing kit. So this is for coarse fishing. I've got 100 meters of eight pound line, all held in place with a little bit of tire inner tube. Inside, opening it up, what we've got is I've got these, these little jelly lures. And they can be secured to the end of the line and then thrown out and then this is used as a reel. Now carefully put those away. Now the other end, the one doesn't want to go back in. Up in the other end, well this is my passive fishing kit. This is designed for either use on the coast or on inland waterways. I've got 50 meters of 50 pound breaking strain nylon braided line. In here, I've got a, a, a lead weight if, if I'm using it as a night line. And then I've also got a series of hooks uh, and lengths of line all threaded up with feathers, etc., on, which can be used either as a mackerel line, as a long line if I'm working on the coast, or set up as a night line for if I'm working on an inland river. And that will allow me to go off and do other things while this little kit is doing the work and hopefully getting some food for me. All round, quite a worthwhile little project to do and I think it may get changed. I think with use, I'll see what works and what doesn't work. But all round, yeah, not a bad little bit of kit. So there you go, that's the project. If you enjoyed it, then remember hit that thumbs up button. 
Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And on that very subject, we're getting very close to the 20,000 subscribers. When I hit that, there will be a giveaway and it's gonna be a real good one. So, if you're not signed up already, sign up. If you know somebody else who you think should subscribe and would enjoy the channel and get them to subscribe. Also, in my description box down below, there is a link down there to my Instagram, my Facebook, etc. Pop over there, have a look, give me a follow on there. There is also a link to my Patreon page. It doesn't cost a lot a month. There are all sorts of benefits, including discounts on kit that's coming up. Also, there is a link to my Etsy shop. Get over there and have a look. And on that very subject, next week's video will be about the kit that is coming up in the Etsy shop at the end of next week. There's a couple of new items. There's a couple of old favorites. You want to get in there first and if you do I want to assure that you get to the head of the queue then just become a patron it gets offered to them first and it gets offered at a discount so pop over there have a look as i said have a look at my etsy shop over there you'll find my leather patches my woven patches and these other goodies that are coming up i think that's everything i've been neil and until next time stay safe